welcome back at Peter Place. We're playing The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild Edition 2022, combining the quests of the main game with those of both DLCs, Champions, Ballad, and Master Sword Trials. Thanks so much for watching, liking the videos, subscribing to the channel, hitting the bell icon so you don't miss a single update. Today is actually most likely the last episode of Breath of the Wild for a while. This uh, previous episode, I defeated Ganon. The game brought me back here, which is totally fine. I will now check what is different in the game. So, for example, if I go to the adventure log, um, side quests, shrine quests. All right, so uh, shrine quests cleared. Shrine quests cleared. And 39 of 42. So I haven't done that yet. There are three more shrine quests to be done. So that means that because I found all shrines, that means that for some reason I haven't triggered some shrine quest sequences. Side quests cleared. 80 out of a 90. So there's still... There's still some shrine quest, uh, side quest left. 80. Wonderful. And then there is one more thing I wanted to check. Uh, but then... Wait, do I have? Do I have? Let's let's go through the list. No, everything mentions complete. So all the, all the quests that are here, I've done. The memories, I've gotten all of them. And then, yeah, the main, the main quest completed. Yeah, 19 out of 20 because... Ganon, I didn't do that uh, according to the game yet, but I did that last time, so that's fine. Uh, so let's get out of this. So there's 10 side quests I have missed and three um, uh, shrine quests. All right, so leave area. Leave this area. Thank you very much. Um, there's, there's three shrine quest sequences I haven't triggered yet. All right, so probably I have yet to find three spots on the map where i have to find um what's his name again the singing bird um i can't remember his name right now but you know who i'm talking about wonderful stuff wonderful stuff so there's a guardian sitting right there i might actually engage that today um well, wait, let's let's see something korok seeds All right, so it doesn't say how many. Okay, cool. So what do I have equipped bow-wise now? Regular arrows? Yeah, I guess that's fine. This is totally alive. I was just gonna say. So, been there, done that. That's cool. Uh, the reason... I'm still playing for time a little bit is actually I want it to be night time. Because I want to find uh, my good friend... Um, Kelton. Kilton, Kelton, Kilton, I think. And there was another guardian right there. Thank <laughs> you. 
practicing my shield parrying a little bit. So, so I'm getting some, I'm getting some ancient weapon, uh, some ancient uh, artifacts, but uh, no cores. All right, fine. The master sword, like, let's check the master sword. How long does it take to recharge now? It finally ran out of energy. It's still 10 minutes. All right, so. Let's, uh, let's take this then. Or no, 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 no. Let's be smart about it. Let's take uh, this. Because I'm wearing my ancient gear. See how fast this goes? I didn't even stasis Ganon when I was fighting him. So the ancient shields and shield parrying, that's that's a golden combination. Ah, there's a core. Alright, so in the meantime, it's getting dark. It's getting dark. I didn't even stasis cannon. I didn't even try to do it. I didn't even try to do it. There's another guardian walking around, so I'll just keep trying to... Uh, um, shield deflect. Oh, really? Ow. Might as well take the woods. I thought the guardian was over there somewhere. All right. And once more. Ow. <laughs> Mistimed it. Mistimed it again. All right. So. Got it. All right. So, are we past midnight yet? Not really. I am doing not that well hard-wise, but I guess that's fine. Um, let's travel to Hateno Village. Which is where again? Here. Ah, I should have traveled to the... Um, Well, the laboratory or what, what's it called? Hmm. I should have traveled there so I have a nicer view because I don't really know in Ateno Village where Kilton shows up, if he shows up. So, uh, let's... <laughs> Get up high. Because I have no clue. Can I not just travel there? So what's this what what's this called? Hateno Ancient Tech Lab. Alright. So there's a Hateno Ancient Tech Club and an Akali. I thought they had different names. Okay, fine. Fine, fine, fine.
Because I was told that Kilton gives you medals for defeating monsters now that you finish the game. Right, so just let me check something. So, Ateno Ancient Tech Lab, and then what is this called? Yeah, Akala Ancient Tech Lab, okay. So now I can, I can see the hole of uh, Kakari, no, of um, Ateno Village. So do I see any sign of Kilton anywhere? Wow, there's 10 side quests that I didn't do yet. 10. So I thought Kilton was going to show up at one of these... Uh, these fields over there. There's 10 side quests I didn't do yet. Alright, so can I do something here? Can I actually look through this? No, I can't. Okay. Alright, yeah, okay, I'm over it. Fine. I'm not seeing any Kilton. Maybe I should just do... Uh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. So if I go to Tarrytown, which is... All the way up here. I know where Kilton's at at Tarrytown, so let's go there and check. Because it's past midnight, he should be, he should be up and about. He should be up and about. Ha! <laughs> rain. Even if you finish the game, rain is still there. It's even thunderstorming, so I should really take a look see. That's fine. Bow wise. Apparently fine. Shield wise should be fine, right? Okay. That uh, the ancient ah Kilton. Is no wait, that's the fairy fountain. Kilton should be over there somewhere. Yeah, there we go. There's Kilton. So even if you finish the game, the rain is still there. Roof protection is now ready to roll. All right. Of course. See, now we have about monsters, so let's do that. Alright. Let's do the giant sand beast. No, I didn't do 40. Ah, ah okay, he knocks. Ah, 
All right, so that's all right. So let's see. Does he have new stuff? Don't I have that yet? Yeah, see, I have that. I've got two of them, actually. For some reason. How did I get two? Anyway. So then the other thing that we could potentially test, but it's the middle of the night, so maybe that's not a smart idea. But let's try it anyway. Is to go to uh, the Cerudo Desert. Uh, let's think about this. I think this was like Molduga terrain. So why did I put that there? So let's travel here. I'll probably have to wear cold gear. my sand boots if I can find them there we go no I want sand boots uh... here I can just as well take it right so it's been a long time since I've been in the Gerudo desert so I'm actually not sure anymore Obviously, there's a Korok seed here. So, like, what am I looking at right there? That, to me, looks like a Molduga spot. Really? Are we getting a sandstorm? Oh no, we're going to daylight. Okay. I'm keeping my eyes peeled for any unusual activity in the sand, but I'm not seeing any. It's 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 daylight. What are you doing? It's daylight. Ooh. 
All right, so let's be quick about this. So let's go. Where is the beast? Ah, there we go. I don't have a weapon. All right, so which is the most powerful weapon I have right now? That's single-handed. That would be my this one. But it's uh where is the thing at? Where is my Molduga? Alright, the Master Sword powers back. There we go. Yep. Let's already take my master sword. Rivali's Gale is now ready. It even spawns a treasure chest. Perfect. Ah, um. That's not really that decent, is it? Um, so, what I do want to do, um, let's do that. So apparently this Molduga I never fought before. But then there was a shrine. Because I have all the shrines, right? So there was a shrine here. That's the sand seal rally, so that's not the one. There was a shrine here that you could only get with Moldugas. So, where am I at again? Right, so the southern oasis. Was that the Molduga Shrine that I was talking about? It might be that I have a hard time letting go of this game right now, but I want... Yeah, I think this was the Shrine. Yeah, see, now it says Molduga defeated. So, um... It is 
Bowser. So that would mean if I ever come across any other monster that I haven't seen. Hmm. Yeah, but uh, I'm not gonna take that. Alright, so I'm in. Uh, I'm in the wrong outfit. So that's also been changed. Cool. Anyway, let's get out of Gerudo. And let's travel. I don't know. Well, I do know. Let let's travel to the Moglatan shrine. And just to end this on on a on a good i think good note um let's go into my inventory where my hylian boots or hylian trousers my tunic and uh then to complement it all wear this perfect And just for all time's sake, let's jump off this mountain, paraglide down, go to my favorite spot probably to pick up my diamond. <laughs> Barely avoid breaking my legs. And there is no diamond here, obviously, obviously that had to happen. Uh, but that's not too bad. Let's do one more fast travel. And you know where I'm going. I'm absolutely going here to the Shrine of Resurrection. I have to. Um, to end more than one year of playing The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. With all the DLCs, Champions, Ballot and Master Sword Trials. This would probably be for a very, very long time. My last moments in this game. Um... If Tears of the Kingdom is just as big, then I'm also probably gonna spend the better part of a year playing that game. So, this is how we got out the very first time playing this game. And then this is what we saw. This lovely uh, view of the whole of Hyrule, this plateau, with yeah, okay, the Shika Towers weren't there because I still had to bring them up. The Temple of Time over there. And this entire view of the entire game that you could cover uh, right here. So let me quickly, quickly, quickly. Uh, first of all, save it here so I don't do anything stupid. And then show you this. The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom is there on my Switch. We are May 6th today. I pre-ordered it. I downloaded it yesterday. It is still locked. But um, May 12th, it will be... Well, it will. the lock will be lifted and I can play the game. Uh, so that's what I will be doing from May 12th onwards. For now, last moments in Breath of the Wild. Um, it's been a road. It's been a trip. Uh, as mentioned in my inventory, I still have 10 side quests to do. Which basically, well, that's a lot. That really surprises me. 
Uh, and I'm gonna try something. Just something, because I, sp I see that tree over there. I don't have the Korok mask on, but I'm gonna paraglide over. And I'm just gonna see if there is something up there. Because that is such a big tree. Oh, there's only bird's nest. But that's fine. It would have been cool to do one more Korok seed. Um, but okay, let's... <laughs> Return where we came from. Right here on the cliffside in front of the shrine of resurrection uh and um yeah actually we were here with the eagle flying the shrine over there the shika tower the temple of time uh dueling peaks over there the castle you can see the, the, the four divine beasts i think this is a nice uh, nice place to, uh, to 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 wrap it up basically again after more than one full year of playing this game uh, this will probably be my my goodbye to it. So, for everyone watching, because uh, during the recording of this game, my channel really grew. It really grew a lot. Um, so thank you everyone uh, for that support. And I hope to see you all back uh, next episode, uh, probably for you tomorrow. Because uh, or or yeah, uh, maybe even prior to that. I have to get uh, check my schedule to see if there is gonna be an overlap, yes or no. Um, but thanks so so much for watching all of this and then I will see you uh, when I start playing Tears of the Kingdom. So thanks a lot and catch you in the next one. Goodbye.